find the derivatives of the following functions. a log base 10 of x plus 2, b 3 times 2 to the power of 3x, c x to the power of ln x. a let y be equal to log base 10 of x plus 2. Okay, well there is a rule for differentiating logs to bases other than e, but I can never remember it. But what I can remember is how to convert this into ln, which I do know how to differentiate. And I do ln of the big number over ln of the base. Like that. And ln 10 is just a number, so it might be easier for me to deal with what's going on if I just do this. And so when I differentiate, the 1 on ln 10 will stay there because it's just a constant multiplied on. And I'll just have to multiply by the derivative of ln x plus 2. So I'll need to use the chain rule there. The chain rule would tell me that if that was an x, I'd just do 1 on x. But it's not an x, so I put 1 on x plus 2. And I have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside that function, but the derivative of x plus 2 is just 1. So I can just leave it like that. And so therefore that's 1 on ln 10 times x plus 2. Now for part b. b. Let y be equal to 3 times 2 to the 3x. Well again, I know how to differentiate e to the x, and I also know how to convert to e to the x. I know there's a rule for differentiating 2 to the power of whatever I want, but I can never remember it, so I'm going to convert to e to the x first. So that would be 3 times e to the ln 2 to the 3x, because 2 is really e to the ln 2. The e and the ln would cancel each other out. So that would be 3 e to the ln 2 times 3x, like that. So now I can differentiate just using the chain rule. So dy on dx, the 3 out the front will just stay there because it's a constant multiplied on. And I'll have to multiply by the derivative of e to the 3 ln 2x. But the derivative of e is just e. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So if that was an x, I would do e to the power of x. It's not x, it's 3 ln 2x. So I need to leave that there. And then I have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside my function. And this is just a constant times x. So the derivative of that is the constant. So simplifying all of that, I get 9 ln 2 e to the 3 ln 2x. And since e to the 3 ln 2x is actually 2 to the 3x, I'll just put that back so it looks like my original function. Now it looks like my original function, so I think that's the end of that part. On to part c. c. Let y be equal to x to the power of ln x. Well again, I don't know how to deal with that, so I think I'll convert to e so that I can know what to do. That would be e to the ln x. The e and the ln would cancel each other out to give x to the power of ln x, which would be e to the power of ln x squared. Okay, so now I can use the chain rule to differentiate this. dy on dx would be equal to... Well, if it was e to the power of x, the derivative would just be e to the power of x. I don't have an x though. What I actually have is ln x squared. And I have to multiply by the derivative of that. So the derivative of ln x squared... Well, if it was just x squared, that would be 2x to the 1. But I don't have x, I've got ln x. And now I have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside there. And the derivative of ln x is 1 on x. 
So there's my answer. And as I did before, I should probably put it back into the form that it had before. The e to the ln x squared is uh, x to the ln x times 2 ln x times 1 on x. And x to the ln x divided by x would be x to the ln x minus 1. So finally, if I rearrange it right, 2 ln x, x to the ln x minus 1. That's my answer.